Hi, thanks for coming. My name is Steve Gravestock. I'm senior programmer at the Toronto International Film Festival. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to TIFF, to TIFF Bell Lightbox, and to this screening, the world premiere of Stefan LaFleur's Viking. I'd like to thank our lead and major, uh, major sponsors, Bell, RBC, Bulgari, and Visa, for their continued support. Big thanks to our major supporters, the Government of Canada, the Government of Ontario, Telefilm Canada, and the City of Toronto. This film is eligible for the Amplify Voices Award presented by Canada Goose, the Platform Prize for Best Film in the Platform Program, and the People's Choice Award. Vote for your... Cool. Uh, Vote for your favorite films at tiff.net slash vote. We'd like to thank Le Films Opal and Sphere Films International for providing us with the movie this evening. It is an enormous pleasure to be up here to introduce this film and this filmmaker. Um, we've had a long history with Stefan uh, since his shorts, uh, his first feature, uh, Continental uh, un Film Sans Fouci, won the Best Canadian First Feature Prize when it played here a couple years ago. His last film, Two Door Nicole, played Cannes, and was uh, I think both those films are part of our Canada's top 10. Um, this film shows that his distinct, unique gifts are very much intact. Uh, he's got a really kind of off-the-wall sense of humor, almost surreal, slightly absurdist. He's got a great visual eye. This is shot, shot by Sarah Mashar, one of the best cinematographers in the country. Uh, it's beautiful to look at. It is, uh, yes, the world. Good point. Thanks for correcting me. Uh, it is, uh, it's a, a very singular movie. It's a movie about space exploration that never leaves the desert. Please join me in welcoming the filmmaker, Stefan LaFleur. Thank, thank you, Steve. Hi, thank you so much for being here. Uh, uh, I can tell you how thrilled we are to sh finally share this film with you. I'm here with uh, many people from uh, the cast and crew. Uh, some of them haven't seen the movie yet, so it, uh, it, it makes it more exciting. Uh, I want to take this uh, public opportunity to thank you, Steve. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you for taking care of our film through the years. Uh, I'm so glad you picked the film so I could be here tonight. Enjoy the movie. I'll, uh, I'll be back with the, with the cast after the, after the screening. Thanks, man. Stick around. We'll be back. Thanks, man. Hi there. I am Kelly Boutsalis, the Associate Programmer of Canadian Features, and I'm very excited to introduce to you the cast and crew of Viking. Stéphane Lafleur. Come, come down, people. <laughs> Steve Laplante, the main character. Larissa Corivo. Fabiola and Aladdin. Anza Ak. Daniel. Christopher Ayerdahl as Mr. Walker. And Eric Caboulian, the co-writer of the movie. So I will start with just a little question, <laughs> and then I'd love to throw it to the audience. I'm sure you have questions, and if you could keep them concise and ideally a question, that would be awesome. Um, so you kind of mentioned to me earlier, we saw each other at breakfast, that this is five years in the making. Uh, it's yeah, it's a long. It, it's a 12 years since the 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 first sparkle. I saw a photograph exhibit of a guy named uh, Vincent Fournier in New York, and uh, there were these uh, little astronauts lost in the big deserts, deserts. And I, I knew I wanted to do a sci-fi movie, but not the typical sci-fi. Like I just wanted dipped in the sci-fi movie. I just wanted the suit actually, and I wanted <laughs> to find a twisted idea to uh, to tell a, a kind of sci-fi story. And then I ran into a, a documentary about the Voyager's uh, uh, probes that we sent into solar space, and they, they were talking about the, the third one they kept in, uh, on Earth to uh, simulate problems they had in space, and they, they were able to solve uh, mechanical problems from far away, and I thought, what if we apply that to humans? So how, that's how Viking came in. Yeah. And then Eric uh, 
and and then in front of all these possibilities, uh, I was kind of lost after a first draft, and I asked my friend uh, Eric if he wanted to co-write the film with me, so we could uh, we could we could do that in less than 10 years. And uh, <laughs> all right, that's great. Are there any questions immediately off the? Oh, yep, there we go. Where did the title the come title from? The title came from the the Landers Viking 1 and 2 that uh that it, they they're talking about at the beginning of the movie. Uh um yeah, they were landed in on, it's that's a true story. They land, uh, the Americans uh, landed two uh Viking 1 and 2 on Mars in 1976 and uh, so the first pictures of the surface of Mars came back in uh, in 76. Yeah. And I thought it was, you know, it was a. I, I like I like the idea of a title that was that what's your what you're gonna see. There's no Drakkar and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> There's one up there. Maybe any act, Steve, do you wanna do it? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Est-ce qu'il avait de l'improvisation dans le... No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't, you, you don't have the right to improvise with Stéphane. <laughs> all, all is, you know, it's the, all, uh, the toughest part was to not play too much. Um, because uh, it's a comedy and, and uh, and we have the the so I had the reflex to to push a bit, and Stefan was always holding back. yeah holding back. Just relax, <laughs> Steve. Relax. Less, <laughs> less, <laughs> less is more. Less is more. It was the um, let motive of this film. Yeah. I'm so improvised a bit. There's a few a things that I'm so improvised that we kept in the movie. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Yeah, the the crumbs in front of the the, the thing that was a, his idea. We got anything else? Way at the back. <laughs> Sounds like you want to tell us what happened at the end. <laughs> um, what I can say about that, um, I think there there was a, a list of things that we wanted to avoid for the, for this film, uh, and I didn't want it to be a satire of, of cheap movies or a, a farce or anything like a parody of, of sci-fi movies. So I I wanted. To, so the drama, the drama part of the movie was Im important for me, and uh, and I wanted us to believe in what David is trying to achieve, even though the situation is totally absurd. But the 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 way we were talking about the movie is that uh, we we need to believe you. We need to believe this arc, and the the tough part was. Because he, he 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 he's getting really bad at some point, and he, he becomes an asshole, and we 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 started hating him, and and I was hoping, and thanks for your comment, but I was hoping that we would get some sympathy for him at the end of the day, but I don't know if it worked for everybody, but that was the I, one of the challenge we had in uh, doing the movie. We have ooh, we have a bunch of questions. Okay, so starting at the very back, the person in the white. <laughs> oh, for the actors, what was it like playing someone playing somebody else? Um, it's hard not to feel like you're playing somebody that's playing somebody that's playing somebody. Like, <laughs> there's a moment where you just try to do what you have to do and not think too much about the fact that the person is not really being herself or himself. Um, I I feel like when I I realized how Janet was taking this thing seriously. 
and that's why she was here because the real Janet was taking this thing seriously as well. So I feel like it's everybody thinks it's really important. So that's like the 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 buzz. Basic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone else? Okay, can I answer that? Oh, you have to say okay. Yeah. You. <laughs> Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have any of those other questions? Uh, there's one right up here. Choice to, shoot uh, choice to shoot on film. I've been working with Sarah Mishara for uh, 16 years now. Uh, we, we've done four. Uh, yeah, oh, great. The best in the world. <laughs> and uh, and we, we love film. We still love film. And... Uh, and And we, yeah, we just love film. So we we've done the four film we've done together our own our, our own film, and it it I think it, there's still something in there that we we don't get in in uh, digital. And um, I I specifically asked that we they didn't because what they do they scan the negative and then they the, the whole process is digitized. But I specifically asked that they didn't dedust all. Uh, everything that they saw on screen, so there's still some some dust from the from the film, just to get the feel of it and the intemporal uh, feel of it. <laughs> Thanks. Any question over here? <laughs> the 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 all the desert part was shot in Alberta and uh, in in Drummiller and the 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 woman in the cafe runs uh, the, is ac the actual woman running the cafe and uh, yeah I think the, the the sandwiches are really good yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember about the coffee <laughs> can we have one down here. Yeah, but well, I wanted to the the mission to be linked to the to the real mission, so it it made it made sense for me to to put it in the U.S. I think there's a little in the story there there's a little bit of um, as I said in in an interview yesterday, it's it's like people pretending to be someone else, and it's at the same time a film pretending to be another film, you know, like pretending to be an American movie and a big Hollywood blockbuster, but it's not, and it, I assume that. So they, they, there's all this playing. Why didn't we sh uh, shot in in the U.S. just for ins insurance uh, reasons? Because of COVID, we we couldn't do it. Uh, the, that was the first plan to go. Uh, down uh, down the U.S., but uh, so we had to find uh, a place in Canada to to shoot, and I'm pretty glad of what we found and how it it came out. So it's our pla Mars planet and our U.S. desert. <laughs> so it's a desert pretending to be a U.S. Desert. It's a Canadian desert trying to be a U.S. desert. <laughs> pretends to be a U.S. desert on a regular basis. There are so many. Um, westerns and uh, so many films shot in Alberta in in that part of Alberta that people think oh is that Montana is that? it's really quite remarkable yeah. and it could easily have been New Mexico it could in, in yeah. numerous places yeah. and it pretends to be that on a regular basis thanks Chris. thanks <laughs> interesting all right so there's a question way at the back <laughs> Me? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. To, to paraphrase, so the acting, where you can find in a small space for shooting. Okay. What is the question? Est-ce que vous avez été coincé tous les acteurs dans un petit espace pendant longtemps? Oh, I'm boy. Tu veux pas répondre? Non, c'est pas toi. I'm not very good in English. Je voulais dire en français. Je voulais traduire. Okay. Okay. Est-ce qu'on était coincé? Were we? Were we? Oui, uh, oui, oui. Oui, 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 on était coincés. Oui, oui, oui. 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 Oui, oui
we were shooting outside the the, uh, the all the inside of the station was shot like 45 minutes from Montreal and it was a, a quite a depressing place yeah. so you could say that we were trapped in uh, in a small space uh, every day for a certain time you wanna <laughs> yeah we we were stuck in in that balls it was the 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 great uh, that's where we stuck <laughs> And it was, uh, yeah, it was in the helmet. It was hot and it was cold. And uh, we had uh, every kind of problem with that, that we solved, that the crew solved. They, there's a lot of work in, in that. There was some, uh, some lighting, some, uh, some sound. Comment on dit ça, la ventilation? Ventilation. So, yeah, a lot of work in that. We've got time for one more question over here. <laughs> Did any real hikers come upon the set and wonder what the heck is going on? Yes. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Where some people wondered what we were doing, especially in the in the parking lot of at the beginning when when they climb. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, in the bus, we were there, as you can see, really early in the morning, and people start. It's it's uh, the the parking lot of a, a grocery store, and if you pan the camera, there's a lot of car parked, and people were pissed off that we were like f like taking parking spaces to shoot a film. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so I just want to thank you all so much for being here. It's a true delight to have you, and the film is so delightful. And thank you all Thanks. for coming. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.